Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. C. I'm home from San Diego. Thought I'd post a little summary of the things that I learned. Biggest takeaway from the conference, and again, this is a business conference, is looking at action. And so I want to challenge you to decide what are you going to do with what you're learning? Each class that I teach, each student that I graduate, each doctoral dissertation that we create, my point is to be in service to impact the world around us. For my leadership students, remember the leadership definition we use is the ability to influence others. As a follower, we have the choice to be influenced by leaders. So my question still stands. When you think about all that you've done this week, and every day is one more kernel of amazing wisdom that comes forward from either me, my colleagues, your other faculty, your students. Remember, your faculty are not above or below you, They're just a little ahead of you in the process. So I want to encourage you that part of where I've been able to achieve in my life is because of taking action. Is it always been comfortable? Oh no. <laughs> I just attended a lecture this morning and it was really difficult for them to be able to help us step up our game and to go out of your comfort zone and to be comfortable with learning to be uncomfortable out of your comfort zone. So I want you to take this time to reflect. And many of my students are doing what we call reflection blogs in a lot of our leadership classes. And the purpose for this is to give ourselves time to be able to think about what we've learned, not just absorb it, not to be a sponge, because my point is a sponge is not to have you wring it out and go on to your next class. These leadership classes are the grit. These are the ones that are gonna teach you resilience. These are gonna teach you the how, but they don't work if you don't work them. One of my students, and she's gonna recognize herself here in a minute, and I won't release her name, she asked why she was so perplexed with some of the mixed messages that are happening in the professional space. And I know it's frustrating for many of my students time and time again to wonder if they went to leadership classes like we're going to leadership classes, then why are there so many bad leaders in the class? And I am convinced many people know what leadership is. They can probably define almost all 65 of them or more. They can write a paper about it. They can take an exam about it. But here's the dirty little secret. They don't use it. And many of you are frustrated and you're absolutely wool wanting and wanting to attract the most brilliant leaders that are out there. And sometimes the best you can learn from them is what not to do. Still viable, still important, still learning. So take some time this week, just personally. Remember John Maxwell's thinking chair. I am sitting in my favorite thinking chair and it's just an unback, up back, wing back chair that gives me ability to focus and my concentration like I'm making this video for you today and to say, hmm, what have you learned? And not only what have you learned, what are you gonna do with what you've learned? The world is waiting. My goal is to be about the influence that I have and the impact. And I measure that by your interest, by your actions by you graduating. And again, this week was so exciting for me, or last week, when I graduated my 100th doctoral student. That's a big deal for us in academics. It's a contribution I'm offering to help somebody move forward. Because again, I'm not above them or below them. I've just done this a time or two, 100 times in fact, to be able to help them move forward. So my challenge to you is today is, what have you helped someone do to move forward in their life? What are you, looking to do to move forward in your life. Remember, sometimes we're a leader and we're gonna be looking to those around us in servant leadership. Sometimes we're a follower. Remember, the only two options, lead, follower, get out of the way. So take the time this week and specialize and focus and sit in this thinking chair like John Maxwell and decide to choose how you're going to impact the world and how you're going to do it through leadership, through followish, followership, and just through the magic of being you. I'm Dr. C. I look forward to seeing you around the quad this week. Take good care. Bye-bye.